You're listening to Instant Microwave Buzz. An improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live in Maui, Hawaii. Aloha. To learn more about Instant Microwave Buzz, go to IMF Maui on Instagram. Support us on Patreon under Instant Microwave Buzz. And now on with the show. Thank you um, for doing this with me today, Brandon. I I know we've had a little bit of a rocky work relationship, but I'm I'm glad to be sitting here next to you today. I feel like we've gotten kind of past our problems and we're ready to get this important work done. Well, thank you. Um, my name is Tyrone. Um, you keep calling me Brandon, and this I is feel why like we have issues. I think this is why we have issues. Yeah, you're so nitpicky about Listen, everything, um, Marguerite. Um, maybe we should just bring in the first person. Yes. Okay. Well, hello there. Hello, hello. Uh, Mr. Johnson. How are you fine citizens doing today? Good, Mr. Candidate. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good idea that how this day is going to go out for us all. Well, so, you know, we've you hired us essentially to dig through your past. That's what we here at Skeletons in the Closet do. Yes. Uh, we find the things that might show up. When people start searching you and you're running for political office. And I told you before, you're not going to find a single skeleton in my closet. Well, mm-hmm. as your political consultant, um, we are we are obliged to tell you about some things we did find. Uh, and it wasn't tell? skeletons in the closet uh, so much as bones. Those are family bones. Okay, can you elaborate? Why are you still holding on to these bones? My great-granddaddy was very dear to us. We want to keep him around. Morale. Uh Uh-huh. And so that's the thing. Once we dug about your uh, great-granddaddy and looked into the history of this, it seemed like there was some um, confusion or disagreement about the causes of his death. It, it seemed like your your parents and you came into quite a lot of money when your granddaddy died, and it, there's been speculation and rumor that it might have not been natural causes of death. No, he naturally bled to death. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Well, there's a couple of other All ones. All normal, but bored, bleed to death. There's a couple other ones. We want to know about the diaper donkeys. What is that? Is that a fraternity? Is that... I understand some members are animals and some are humans. We just the McKinley seeing... family believes strongly in environmental protection, and that means cleaning up after donkeys. Okay, and why do you have the contests and the jello fights with you and some other, I'm going to say, Kentucky Colonel-like gentlemen and donkeys? What we're, is that? We're going to be honest That's with you, That's just downright Mr. American fun. We're going to be honest with you, Mr. Candidate. We... We went to the warehouse. We know about the warehouse. We know about the warehouse. We do our due diligence. We went on donkey diaper night. And I have to say. Did you enjoy yourself? We it was did. fun. It was fun. It was fun. But we're not running for we're office. We're not running for office. And I have to say, just about every single thing we saw there is very detrimental to your, your success in this race. You don't think the American people would vibe with some sort of donkey slip and slide fun jello no, time? No, and I mean it, it could go that way, but most people don't understand. And also, the imprisoning of the stable boys at night—we're not understanding what all of this is about. And we're concerned, as your consultants, that if any of this comes to light, it only took a couple of days of digging for us. Very little, very little. Very effort. little. I mean, I feel like next you're going to tell me that what flying in those Tijuana girls was a bad bad idea well i have a firm stance on border immigration that is, against it that is sort of the weird one for us because the more we look into that the more we feel that it might have been these tijuana girls were americans and you were flying them back here was this a rescue mission how did that happen we could spin it that way we could spin it that way that's a good point yeah i've never thought about t- turning it around like that is there anything we could do with that with the donkeys? Is there a charity or anything that benefits from 
all this. And don't you don't have to answer today, but if you do, I could maybe keep the police away. And, Donkeys without borders. And, it's a it's a foundation near and dear to my heart. Okay. And I just have to ask, Mr. Kennedy. They don't know what a border is. I just have to ask for not only will the public ask when this comes out, but I have to just know personally what where are you taking all of those donkey diapers? We just saw them leaving by the truckloads, and it didn't seem like they were dump trucks. It seemed like they were wrapped up very carefully and shipped off. What is, what's the story with that? Do you know how big business op- even operates? No. The entire economy would crumble without the donkey diaper distribution fund. All right. Well, I think that answers all of our questions. Okay. Uh, Again. Besides the one skeleton in the closet, that's a literal skeleton. Not really any skeletons in my closet. Okay, well, we're going to continue to review your case, and we're probably going to need to talk with you sort of a game plan for when this stuff does hit the media at large. But you are not even in the top ten of our worries uh, for the party this time. I can't even believe you didn't even find out about the trips to uh, Vietnam. All right, well, have a, have a great day, Got Mr. Cool. Johnson. We'll see you later. Oh, hello. Why, hello. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, candidate Ricky Rhodes here. You're going to vote for me, right? Well, Hi, Ricky. We're uh, nonpartisan, uh, so we can't actually have any affiliation with the voting themselves, but we're here to support you, here to help you. I'm uh, counting that as a yes. I live offshore. I'm not allowed to vote in any district. Well, mail-in ballots are cool. Ah, uh, well. Not right? if you're a felon like me, but it's it's fine. <laughs> and speaking of felonies, uh, Ricky. Yes. You've committed a few under a different name. Well, uh, that wasn't me. Uh, well, what what was your birth name, Ricky? Uh, Richard Rhodes, of course. Okay. Mm. And who is Ricky Raccoon? Uh, that's, I have no affiliation. That's. Okay, because there's some mug shots here with you. Um, uh, that's, that's Photoshop. And that's... a lot of them are blurry because you seem like, uh, these, these back alley photos of this Ricky Raccoon character, if we can call it that, seems to be violently dancing um, with pasties on. Well, it seems like this individual that you're showing me is very talented. Um, I don't know what you're asking about. I have no well, similar markings on my body. We're not here today no. to assess talent levels. Oh. We saw it. We saw it and we were, we were very impressed. Oh, I have well, to say, thank you. but is it conducive to winning a political race? Absolutely not. Oh, Absolutely not. Yeah. I just have one question. Where did you get the nipple tassels that large? I noticed you have very large nipples. Uh, those are homemade. Okay, so you're admitting at, wait, it. Uh, you're admitting uh, it. The yeah. true Ricky Raccoon. No, no. Show and us your tits, I, Ricky. <sighs> Fine. Yep, there they are. That's, <laughs> those are the nips are. I remember and seeing. I have to say, it could do something good for, for your political race that your G-string did have the Ukrainian flag printed on Absolutely. it. That, that, was, would... that was accidental. Oh, don't okay. say that. Oh, right. All right. Well, well we I can spin them. it. That's what she me. does best. You can spin it too, Ricky. Am I right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Hey, that was three helicopters at once. But don't spin it, though. Don't That's spin the point. it. Yeah. Okay. Not on, on stage or? Also, um, speaking of helicopters, there was a hijacking. You were a victim or you were perpetrating it? We're not sure from our our notes uh, here. Okay, so I w- that was a little bit of a crazy time in college. Um, I borrowed a helicopter with some people in it. Okay, we're talking about the one two weeks ago, not the one in college. Oh, oh, uh, then that one never happened. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I... Well, I like helicopters. So tell and us. I can't always have one. It's expensive. Right. Yes. Right. And I don't want to, you know, put the burden on the taxpayers. So sometimes I'll borrow one. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more. I think we, the last point we need to touch on, if you could elaborate on what we just kept seeing come up as Operation, Operation Gazpacho. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great idea. What? Why? Yeah. What oh, was that? It seems like there was. It resulted in ten deaths. Well, okay, so Gestapo, Gaspacho, you know, potato, potato. Um, it was. It started off as you know, it was a late night bar joke, 
And we were just kind of thinking, you know, there's there's sometimes too many people. Okay. And then the armbands and the gazpacho. Right. And it's the all rest. about the sauce. It's, you know, sauce is thicker than blood or something like that. Okay. Uh, I think it was blood and sauce and soil is what you're, which is something pretty offensive, uh, just so are, you know. What's the expression? Revenge is a dish best served cold soup. Right. Right. Okay. Well, just to let you know, Ricky, um, there's a lot of yellow level stuff in here. Nothing that approaches the red level stuff. Uh, we can what keep about. We can keep a, a. Do we have a different color system? Um, I suppose we could work something right, cool. out All later. Right, we'll work on that. Uh, we just want you to know we don't see anything that would get in the way of people voting for you. Your average Fantastic. voter has done the same types of things before. Uh, maybe not the two hij- hijackings, but one of them. Yeah, yeah, just two. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna s- schedule a second consultation for you later this week about how we can cover up some of this. Stuff Fantastic. With you, okay. Hey, I'm I am a player. Uh, Are hey, you ready to lie? I <laughs> I am halfway there. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, it was great seeing you guys. Have a good you day. Take care. All right. Thank don't you, forget, Ricky. vote Ricky Rhodes. Send in the next candidate. Uh, hello. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Janet Vino. You can call me Janet. 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 Uh, how can are you, you? You can put the wine glass here. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate having a designated area. That Absolutely. You can think of that as your little real estate there. Oh, I really appreciate you. Absolutely. And thank you. Speaking of designation, yes. do you have a designated driver today? Because I, s- I think I saw you stumble out of a car that ran into a tree in the parking lot, and it's yes. just still out there. It's, it is absolutely I think it's, fine. My husband um, exclusively drives me. Except for this morning. When your car ended up, I'm a t- sure he a tree. must have been driving. Yes, I'm sure he he was there. In the records that we dug up, it seemed like your husband died ten years in a car ten years ago in a car accident. Oh, that couldn't be right. No, no. And he's, oh, he's oh, very it looks much like alive. we're getting a fax here now. I you were driving him. the car. I have not driven myself in 10 years. He drives me. Well, and that's the other thing. We're seeing here that you were 10 years ago convicted of a, it says PWDWI. Is that peeing while driving while intoxicated? Is that what we're seeing here? Or is that Pino while driving while intoxicated? We've seen both, but it's in two different counties, so we're I was not never, sure. I was never convicted of anything. Okay, you understand, though, that the party is a bit worried about some of this stuff and the repeated behavior and the driving without a license and the peeing while driving while intoxicated. That's, do you understand? You know, I understand. And I have to tell you all, I'm not worried about any of this. I am a king hell debater, and I can talk my way through any of this on any stage. I'm not worried about any of this uh, coming back to haunt me, so to speak. Oh, uh, the the facts I just got in is actually a photo from the crime scene where it's you with the glass of wine in one hand and flipping off your dead husband's corpse with the other hand. That's weird. It's public information, too. It only took a That's few moments to find this. That was photoshopped. We're afraid that this sort of thing, a male candidate could survive, but we're afraid people won't vote for a stone cold drunk bitch who is uh, running over her husband and killing her other husband in another vehicular accident. And then well, there's a third husband. You're touching on exactly why I'm running. This is my platform is, you know, we're in a post uh, feminist world and it's time. It's time to break down these barriers. If drunk Coke addled, DUI murderous male candidates can run, can win, and be successful in office. So can I, a woman. So I just, I'm going to turn this. Thank this, you. I'm going to turn this laptop around and I'm going to press play. It's actually a video of you blatantly admitting to murdering your husband via car crash. Let's let's play it here. You can hear yourself talk, please. Ah. <laughs> I don't regret it. I don't regret any of it. Fuck you, James. I'm fucking kill him again. 
Okay, now All Janet. Right. Janet, um, can I ask you, do you regret that? Well, you know what? Um, here's an interesting story. I was actually not in control of my faculties at that time. Um, and it is well documented that uh, just prior to this, around four hours prior, I was abducted. Um, that is a big part of my platform is um, is uh, all about alien nation. Oh, alien abduction. Um, yeah, I was abducted by aliens. This could be a good stance. Okay, yes. now- Something they administered to me during my abduction um, caused a, a parasitic invasion that is actually the cause of... Um, what did not kill my husband because he is very much alive and driving me to this day. Okay, okay so we, we also have your medical records from the past 30 years. This parasitic invasion, you've just had worms for forever. And I'm looking here hmm. at a report from an actual alien that says you abducted him. Um, He's you know, ready to go public about it. Too. Potato, potato. Okay. Well, it's, you know, like once you reach a certain level, I have a relationship with them, you know? So it's like, yeah, if you're going to abduct me, well, I think the party can go two ways. Am I right? Uh, well, so what okay. you're saying is you don't have a good relationship with our our intergalactic friends. I have a post-feminist relationship with them. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. Well, we're going to assign Mary Beth to be your handler on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have another consultation next week so that we can strategize. Excellent. Does she drive? Does uh, she drink? Um. Send in the next candidate. Okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, I was told I'm going to get a rapid fire question with one answer only it's just one word answer Stuart, no this is this is an in-depth dig into your history we actually need more than one word answer i thought it was kind of like uh the pyramid game where you guys ask me questions and then you, no 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 i win money the party hired us to vet you as a candidate i love to party okay all right that brings me to our first document here um this appears to be an invitation to your sixteenth part, sixteen year old, uh, your sixteenth birthday party, and I noticed that it's also for uh, last week. You're not sixteen, are you? No, 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 no. But no, there no. were a lot of sixteen year old kids there at your party, weren't there? No, 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 no. no, uh, no. Again, I've got another document here. This seems to be photos. There's a guest list. Um, you appear to be trying to lure minors. Is is that correct? No, 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 I mean, no, if no, you no, look no. at the photo, you can see it's clearly you doing the keg stand. No, 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 no. And then me. while we're on the topic of <laughs> birthday invitations, last year we saw it found a very public flyer for your birthday last year that was actually your 47th birthday. And it was called a butts wide shut party. What is that? That is pretty nothing like the description. I like to throw people off. This was just a simple dinner, raising funds. So butts were wide open then. It was a campaign, raising campaign funds for the party and the upcoming presidential election, which I am more than capable of holding that position because the American well, people love a good... After this party that you had campaign on this, funding, in the presidential suite like, at the Hilton, mm -hmm. there was a lot of blood found in in the room not from my your blood. butt wide shut party. Not my blood. We were not insinuating it was your blood. We're actually, that would make this a lot easier if it were your blood. We have, we clean that up on a weekly basis. The candidate's blood is something that we, I've done it myself before. And I have to ask Stuart. Hmm. What are you drinking right now? Uh, this, that's just a clear substance. That's no, clear. It's, 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 red. Clear. It's, it's red. It's red. It's red and very thick. Is oh. it, is it, is that butt blood? So you think I drink the blood of children? Uh, I, we didn't say we didn't children. Say children. Um, you said you children. think I'm one of those people that eats babies. We're, we're, we're kind of, we're worried here, Stuart, because... We've seen a lot of candidates today, and you are one of our our toughest cases. Mm, We're not going to lie. No, no. Um, there's not a lot of ways that we can get out from under 
some of these things that you've been doing. There's sort of a saying in politics, never get caught with a dead girl or a live boy. And we've found a whole lot of both in your in your closet, so to speak. Well, li- oh, listen. Look, there's some more info coming in here, too, about you. Okay, so oh uh, my can God. I just show you this before we get to that fax? There's oh, three hate fax machines. <laughs> four full pages. Oh, what? this one okay. says we should be protect ourselves in this meeting. I'm wearing a flak jacket. Can I just I assumed well, you were as can well. Can I just prove I have proof that that's just deer blood? Can you guys look at my phone, check out this video, okay? Hold You're on. You're drinking deer blood? Yeah, hold on. Are Watch you worried this. about Here, parasites? I'm gonna press play. Here it goes. Okay. I am. I got that deer right in my side stick. Son of a bitch. All right, see that deer is the dead deer. And that's just the blood of the deer. Okay. Um, That's me hunting. All right. Okay. It's legitimate video. It's not cooked. Are you worried about parasites? Raw blood? R- are raw you blood drinking parasites? raw blood? Also, I, for your your race and for your success in this... I don't this, see color. In this, I have to say, I don't think it's necessarily the hunting that will be the problem, but in that video we saw after you shot the deer... You then proceeded to roll around in the deer blood and make kind of like a snow angel, a blood angel. It's standard, in... standard procedure. You, can you, we? You ever just, been hunting? Can we just make a suggestion? Okay, I'm here. I'm open minded because I'm running for president of the United States of America. Fuck we're, yeah! We're not sure this party will vote for you. That's why I'm creating a new party. But we're thinking you might want to run as the conservative candidate. Also, you they starting parties. You starting parties is a bad idea. We've yes. already seen that. You should not start a party. And I, I actually just got a fax in. Of this is might have bit might be the uh, most heinous thing I've heard My today. God, it says here that in 2013, you never got your mom a Mother's Day present. Well, fuck. And she's ready to go public about it. Oh, we can't defend this. Fuck. Hi, I'm Johnson F. McKinley, and I'm running this year for president. Now, I kindly ask upon the American people to vote for someone who actually cares, who's got little or no bones in his closet. Not real bones either, but I, the main thing is that I'm here to push forward all kinds of environmental focus. I'm here to make sure that there's a little or none donkey shit left on the ground. Johnson F. McKinley believes in trees and the environment. I totally admit there are trees on this planet, and I'm going to stand up by cutting them down. I, Johnson F. McKinley, not only your friend, I come from a long line of politicians. Like, I'm his uncle. He's good. He knows what's good for you. Other candidates' uncles hate them, but not Johnson F. McKinley. I'm pro-uncle. My uncle was really nice to me, but I digress. It's the American people's uncles that I care about. I care about industry. Not so much people. Industry is what matters, because jobs. And my jobs make other jobs. And you will have some sort of job. Other candidates don't support donkey diaper inventions. But Johnson F. McKinley does. And if I have to leave you with anything, it's that even though I come from a long line of politicians, I have no interest in furthering that. I'm now running Republican. Republican. Well, howdy. I'm your sheriff candidate, Ricky Rhodes. Now, some of you may know me a little bit better by my stage name, 
Ricky Raccoons. Well, I want you to know, you know what they say? All roads lead home. And all the other candidates, they are bad. They cannot be a sheriff and take care of the people. You need somebody that cares for your feelings like Ricky. Now, everything you love, I love. And everything you hate, I hate more. So now I want you to know, I will guard you better than you've ever been guarded. Vote for me, Ricky Rhodes. Now, I would like to hear, how about you hear from uh, some of our constituents? Well, do you I sure do love a Mr. Ricky Rhodes. Um, he one time rescued my cat out of a tree. And I, I only shot it one time. He's alive today. One time I was burning a cross in my yard and Ricky came by and told me I had to take it down and replace it with a Christmas tree. I said, fire that some bitch too. I sure do believe in that Ricky fella. He he ran over a muskrat outside my house that was causing us nothing but trouble. I've been arrested by Ricky 47 times. I can't get away with anything with Ricky in office. That's right, Jimmy, and you never will, because oh. I am always on the case for you. Vote for me, Sheriff Candidate Ricky Rhodes. Brought to you by friends of Sheriff Ricky Rhodes' re-election campaign. Get on the bus or go back to your country. I'm Janet Pino Vino. You can call me Janet Vino. I am running for comptroller of your Department of Transportation. And I just want to say here in my advertisement message that I am here for all people, all driving people. I have very strong feelings about vehicles and money tied to vehicles. I'm here to support you. How do you like to drive? How do you like to drink? You know, honestly, none of that really matters to me. I also want to bring up a very important point that, uh, you know, I wasn't going to run for this office. I wasn't going to run because the government is against all of us knowing about aliens. And now, ding, they've admitted to aliens. So I don't have to be silent anymore. Aliens affected my driving, and it damaged my reputation. If you have had something similar happen to you, vote for me. But you don't have to take my word for it. Take it from someone that I have fought with my entire life, someone who has always opposed me. Hi, it's me, Rita Vino, and I'm just going to talk about my sister and tell you not only does she drive, but she drives me crazy. <laughs> See? I'm just kidding, though. She's going to be a great con- comptroller of the Department of Transportation because all of those DUI accusations are a lie. They're all a lie. I don't care if you can't drive yourself anymore and you need a driver like my husband. He drives me. He's been driving me for the last 10 years. People have said that he died. Preview. Here he is. I never died, but I did drink a couple of things before I came here. I ensure drivers for all. Thank you very much. Brought to you by the campaign to reelect Janet Pino. Vino. Hi, I'm Stuart Harbinger running for the president of the internet. I've been canceled, I've been kicked off, and I can't say what I want to say. Wait, somebody's telling me what I'm actually running for. What is that? I need a translator. Sir, sir, you're running for uh, the vice president of the Homeowners Association for downtown Parkside. Damn it, they're not going to let me say what I want to say. Stuart Harbinger says the things that everyone wants to say. What do you want to say? I can't say it. Truth. 
Why can't you say it? Because they won't let me. Truth. Make them pay. If I become president of the internet, as well as your HOA president, we will be able to say the things they won't let us say. God lies. See, they wouldn't even let me say it on my own goddamn ad. Censored. We're doing it live. Stuart Harbinger, ruler of Zamunda, conqueror of all. What about the blood? Rosebud. Drink the blood. Rose blood. Butts wide shut. Check me out on uh, all social platforms. Super Stuart Harbinger. Uh, we're just messing around, running for president of your HOA. Fun and gay. Instant Microwave Buzz is a weekly improvised sketch comedy podcast recorded live at the Fuzzbox Studios in Lahaina, Hawaii, on the beautiful island of Maui. To learn more about the Fuzzbox Studios and their mission to encourage, inspire, and empower individuals in developing their creative visions and by providing an environment to cultivate their skills and talents, check us out at fuzzboxproductions.com Check out our website for instant microwave fuzz.buzzsprout.com You can find us on Patreon, YouTube, and Instagram under instant microwave fuzz And you can find us on all the podcast platforms Support the show on Patreon at instant microwave fuzz And big thanks to our patrons Will, Alan, Paul, and Laura, thanks to all of you. We'll see you next week. Thank you.